So some of you may know the reason James Gunn moved from the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the DC Universe. Gladly, he was able to finish his project of the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy even after getting fired, but being put back onto the project to finish what he started and how he wanted to end it. The move from Marvel to DC and just how Gunn announced the next slate and chapter of the DC Universe really reminded me of how Kevin Feige lays out projects in Marvel's phases. Today I wanted to discuss James Gunn and what has already changed even though there hasn't been any specific projects with his name attached to it yet. This last film, Blue Beetle, is one that doesn't have James Gunn's name attached to it, however it could help kickstart what's coming into the DC Universe. As Gunn said himself that it doesn't fit into his line of projects that he has planned. On the other hand, Gunn previously confirmed that Blue Beetle will officially be the first superhero of DC Studios revamped to cinematic universe. The director even stated that Gunn and Safran let the story be because they liked what was being done. Already as the time of this recording, just a couple of days after the film's release, Blue Beetle has already received $10 million in the box office, dethroning, as some say, the Barbie movie, as at the opening weekend for Barbie only made just a little over 6 million. So far, I would say it is performing pretty well. And although he wasn't attached to this previous project, a report from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has revealed that the DC sequel had additional reshoots this year approved by Gunn. The Hollywood Reporter's article stated that the Aquaman sequel is coming off of its third round of reshoots, which were approved by Gunn after the director and co-CEO weighed in on the most recent cut. And a lot of the people's reactions aren't good even with them knowing that James Gunn has a hand in it, saying just to scrap it. I've had to make adjustments all along the way. The DCU has been through lots of different versions, and one of the things that was challenging about this film was keeping track of what was going on, director James Wan said. As of now, the release date is still stands at December 20th of this year. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods, so he connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love. And then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film about a kid who's a marvelous part of the DCU, and then into Aquaman 2. He recognizes that the DC Universe has been all over the place lately, and more so recently, that has been true. After speaking about the more recent projects after Aquaman, he goes into what is going to happen involving Creature Commandos, an animated version of something that DC has never touched before, then moving into Waller, Superman Legacy having being written now, Lanterns, The Brave and the Bold, which fans seem to be almost the most excited about, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, and Booster Gold. I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. That's nine projects in the span of a couple of years, which honestly not that bad considering how many projects Marvel has put out, so maybe DC will be the other half of the spectrum where we get few projects but ones that are really actually enjoyable to watch and we don't see very many mistakes in continuity and animation or special effects mishaps. And there's actually people that do 100% believe that only James Gunn can save DC because of what he's created at Marvel with Guardians of the Galaxy, so there's already trust there. Maybe some surprises that he switched a little bit, but this could really do something to this company. But I wanted to turn this all around to you guys. What do you think James Gunn has planned for the future of the DCEU in terms of if he has more projects in mind that he hasn't announced yet? And what do you think about what he has said his plans are if they are actually going to revamp the whole company?